All right, so some of you guys are going to want to know how to reduce your run out whenever you're pulling free sizing. So the best way that I have found to do this is with Redding standard dies. This also works well with the S-type bushing die. However, I find that for bulk ammo, um, especially like 223 that might be shot in multiple different guns, the standard die probably works a little bit better. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this die apart. And if you have the standard sizing button, you're going to have to get the floating button kit, right? With the little floating button. Floating button helps, but it's not perfect. So this style is what you need. So you can pull that off. And that way you still have a, a stem that retains your decapping pen. So button off, put it all back together. Grab your full length sizing die. Put it all back together. So now what you're doing is you are sizing the outside of the neck in one process and you are not pulling that brass back down a resizing button. What happens is, whenever you're pulling it back down, it's not necessarily axial aligned, and it causes your case neck to stretch unevenly. So, okay, well, if I'm just sizing on the outside of my neck, I'm gonna have a problem. That's where this die comes in. This is a Sinclair um, neck reaming die. So, what you can do is you can adjust it. This is universal, fits nearly any cartridge. But you can buy different inserts for different cartridges or for different calibers, truly. You don't, it's not cartridge specific. So you can see this one is a, I don't know if it'll focus on it, a carbide 22 uh, neck reamer. So I pull this off, drop it in, tighten this thing down. You don't want to tighten it all the way. You want to give it some room to flex and float. So you just tighten it down just snug. And this goes right behind your full length sizing die. So you can take your cartridge. So you were sizing the outside and the inside of the neck in two separate steps. This is how you cut your neck run out in half. So I hope that tip helps you guys make better ammunition. I know this has started working for me. Um, this is one of the tricks that I learned to reduce run out whenever I started sizing on a progressive press. Um, typically what I'll do is I'll take my once fired brass or however many times fired brass straight out of the out of the bag throw it in the tumbler clean it lube it up and then I run it just like this um, I size in one process I throw my powder charges in one process and it's one stroke of the press for a complete round um, I don't necessarily have to handle that brass more than once but you do have to be picky about which powder and what kind of lubricant you're using but I might get further into detail about this whole process at some point, but this is the first and probably most important step to making better ammo. You have to start with straight necks and then load straight bullets. If at any point you're getting more run out and then you go on to the next step and induce more run out, you get more and more and more, and then that is how you get poor accuracy and velocity variation. That velocity variation may not seem like a big deal up close, um, but the further you shoot, the more consistent that velocity needs to be so that your data will be correct and on target. Anyway, hopefully this helps you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.